Today, we're looking at late 20th century sports cars that didn't ask you to suffer for your pleasure. The 107 Mercedes SL arrived as flower power was giving way to glam rock in 1971. Its 18 years of production saw us well into the acid house era before it went into retirement. It was the West German dream of the perfect rich man sports car. A fast, safe and comfortable luxury two-seater. In the 70s, everybody's mother wanted a Mercedes SL. It was a default choice glamour car with a strong female following, be it your film star or your bank robber's wife. Successful bank robber's wife. The Americans would take every one of these cars the Germans could make to the point where not that many of them found their way to the German market. It was small screen fame that sealed the American love affair with these cars when they appeared on series like Dallas and Heart to Heart. And in the trade over here, they became known as the Bobby Ewing SL. And when this car came out in 1971, it looked like sports cars were gonna be a dying breed, open top cars of any description. But Mercedes kept the nerve, even when federal legislation suggested that they were going to become outlawed. When that never happened, they were in a good position to sell a lot of cars. What do I do here? Let's Martin, mm. my knight in shining armor. What's the problem? The car, beautiful as it is, it's broken down. I can look at this as long as I like, but I don't know what's wrong with it. Fail to proceed. Is that what they call it? It's <laughs> failed to proceed. So uh, what do I do? Lower the bonnet. Right. Take the keys out and get anything you need out of the car. So we'll leave it? I'll send Rolls-Royce for it. Somebody from Rolls-Royce will come and pick it up? So they say. I've heard that story. It's not an urban myth? Well, we'll soon find out. Oh, we will. <laughs> this is lovely. It's nice, isn't it? What is it? 380 SL. Two million taxi drivers can't be wrong. Exactly. <laughs> but, um, it's the right colour for a taxi, this yeah. one. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, um, for me, I mean, I was growing up in the 60s, hitting my teens, and the Jaguar was the car that took my attraction then, you know. Well, E-types. Well, e E-types, e yeah, the yeah. E-type Jag was, was fantastic. And I think as a kid, I, I fantasised about one day, I'd love to, to have that. I've never owned an E-Type, but um, I did have an XK8. Yes. It's and sort that, of an E-Type-ish shape, isn't it? Yeah, more kind more. of the same shape, and, yeah. it, and it was the soft top. And it's probably the only time that I've been really extravagant about a car. Right. I was, I was out with my mate Justin and I said to him, I said, you've changed your car again. I mean, you change your car every three months. Let's go and change my car. Yeah, yeah, okay. And we passed um, a dealership on the Holloway Road and I went, look at that. And there was a lovely um, racing car green uh, XK8 in the window. I went, let's go in. And I went in and said, I want that car. <laughs> so you got the actual one? I, well, you know what, I, they said, sorry, it's sold. And I went, oh, well, uh, I don't want to wait. They said, we can, I don't want to wait. And they called me within the hour and went, actually, <laughs> yeah. you can have it. And it's the only time in my life, I was going through some stuff in my life where I thought, you know what, I don't care right now. Yeah, and, I, yeah. and I just went out on a whim and did it. And yeah, I yeah. loved that car. Yeah, yeah. What I don't like about modern cars is the fact that they tell you everything. My car, I've got an Audi. A4, your mobile phone is still in the car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all yeah, right, yeah. don't, uh, they don't, don't nag to, me. They don't allow you to think for yourself. It's, yeah. like, it's yeah. like everything today nags you. <laughs> Beep. Yeah. yeah, put your seatbelt on. Beep. Yeah, yeah, put your seatbelt on. Yeah. You're, out of fuel. You're nearly out of fuel. Would you like me to take you to the nearest petrol station? I don't want oh, yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. You know? Don't they even ring the AA for you if you break down? <laughs> do now. they? I think they do. Oh, yeah, yeah. my God. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, it's great to have all of that comfort, but sitting in something like this, it is, mm. I can see the attraction. So we had this chemistry teacher, she didn't like me at all. My real name was Leslie Hesseltine, and one day she said to me, Hesseltine, one day you will be sweeping the roads when John Ford, who was the teacher's pet, <laughs> will drive past you in his Ford Zephyr. <laughs> 
And, oh, I uh, chose a car. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know, when I when I got my first BMW, I always wanted to yeah. get in touch with her and say, "Hey, here I am." <laughs> yeah, teachers who say things to that are always a bit of a hostage to yeah. fortune, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. But back in the seventies, before I could afford one, the car that I really would have loved was the XJS. Well, it just so happens. I've got three here for you to look at. Have you? Just because it's you. Oh, wow. Three different bodies. Wow. V12, 3.6, and another V12. You, you've got three for me. Three. Yeah, you can That's choose amazing. which one you like. That's the car for our game show host. Look, three, two, one. Perfect. Right, should we go and have a look at them? Absolutely. Wow, this is amazing. What is this? That's the, the full convertible with an yeah. electric hood. No back seats on some of them. Uh, automatic V12, 5.3, um, 150 mile an hour. Yeah. It's got the American headlights on it, which some people like. Stunning. Rather than the lozenge shape. Um, and these are very successful. The Americans loved them. What's the, that's the lozenge shape, is it? That's the, the lozenge head, shape headlight. on, yeah, that's the tradition, if you like. You know, the That Civic. looks so nice, doesn't it? It does, that looks, looks nicer that's somehow, right. doesn't it? Yeah. So what have we got, what's the second one? The second one is a, a 3.6 manual. Yeah. When they realised that they couldn't sell them just as a V12. Right. Because they were so thirsty. Okay. okay. Um, they came out with a six cylinder engine, which yeah. actually, it was as fast as the V12. Right. So that's, the speed's sort of the same, but that's really smooth. <laughs> and this one at the end? That's a cabriolet, it's quite an unusual one. Yeah. Um, that came between the coupe and the full convertible when they they wanted to make sure the body stayed stiff, um, didn't didn't wobble. Right. Whereas they, they did strengthening on that, actually. Okay. The Germans strengthened the body on those. It's got the, what do you call it? The Leaper, the did Leaper, you say? Yeah, the Leaper, uh, which actually was last used officially in probably the late 60s. Yeah. But people still put them on. I'm from Liverpool. Halewood in Liverpool was where the Jaguar. Yeah, some um, of them were. Yeah, of them, on, yeah. Would these be made in, in they, Liverpool? These, these were Browns Lane Coventry. So they're not Scouse cars, they're not, basically. No, no, they're, no. They're, um, they're proper Midlands, Midlands cars. Midlands cars, yeah. <laughs> right, yes. yeah. Well, um, do I get the choice of, of going in one and driving one? Whichever one you like, whichever one suits you. Well, look, I've got to go for the convertible. It's got to be the convertible. It's got to be. I'm so excited by it because. I just drive an ordinary car and this feels so thrilling to be in something that is beyond ordinary. Big steering wheel, just like the big saloon Mercs. Very similar dashboard to an S-Class. The miles per hour in the middle, revs to six. It's got the single column start that does absolutely everything. A little bit of body roll and it's got those seats that sort of semi-collapse under your backside, which all Mercs of this period have. It's quiet, much more quiet than I thought, but then if you rev it up, it sounds exciting. It, it does what it says on the tin. It's only a 3.8, 380, but it's got some reasonable grunt behind it. Steering's so good. I thought being an older car, it might be quite heavy, but it isn't at all. Nice feel on the steering. A little bit of scuffle shake. Screech your brakes there from Martin. I'll tail out a little bit there. So maybe I should uh, stop driving like I'm driving Miss Daisy. Barely get the back end to break away on it, isn't it? Well, he's pushing me here. <laughs> In my days travelling around the country, doing the clubs, I, uh, I drove quite fast. I don't drive this fast, but I'm loving it. Oh, he's right behind me. Uh-oh, looks like there's a race coming up. So, Les, people have been saying we should do an actual Jack race. Are you up for that? Well, I suppose so. Remember that movie with James Dean, Rebel Without a Cause? Mm. Here we've got Les Dennis, Rebel Without a Clue. Okay. Let's go. See ya. V12's pulling away. <laughs> Kids, I don't really drive like this. What 
kept you. <laughs> <laughs> I loved that. That was great fun. Now, these cars from the 70s, 80s, what now in the 21st century would be the modern day equivalent? I would say a Bentley Continental GT convertible like that one. What the magic of television? Yeah. So are we driving it? You are. You're driving it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> It's a lovely car, isn't it? Yeah, it is. it's the kind of thing you'd turn up at the golf club in if you're posing. Yeah, it's, it's very conspicuous consumption. Yeah, that's a great expression. I like yeah. that. So yeah. you know, to turn up at your gym palace and yeah, exactly. You know, you're not got to be afraid of showing your wealth with this car. It's, and you need some wealth to you buy it. Need some wealth to to buy it. You need some wealth to afford the rate of depreciation it's going to saddle you with. It, tell me about it. Well, that one's a V8. Yeah, and this shape came out last year. This new wide body shape right um, but the Continental GT has been around for almost 20 years and yeah it's, and it's uh it's really a, a Volkswagen invention um, since Volkswagen bought Bentley how division. much 167 okay 200 miles an hour Wow okay uh, it's got every conceivable luxury feature on it you when know. are you gonna do 200 miles an hour how well, are you gonna be able to do it they throw you in jail now for that one. Okay, well, let's <laughs> let's give it a go. I don't mind. I don't mind going in jail for a night if we get up to two hundred. Well, exactly. It's four wheel drive and everything. This is. Is it? Yeah. It's. I mean, it's stunning, isn't it? It's, oh, it's, it's, it's amazing, everything yeah. that you would want from yeah, from it, yeah, a from luxury car. car. It is. Yeah. But it's not got the excitement, has it? You can, so you can, so you can feel that already. It's it's, it's stately, isn't it? And yeah, it feels heavy, elegant. doesn't it? And if you had the choice. Probably, if that was a an earlier XJS, yeah, the original like return, I call the return of the Saint XJS, right? Um, I'd have that. I just like the earlier versions of things, right. you know. It's lovely this. Yes. But I don't feel the urge to drive it fast. No. It, it doesn't make me want to drive mm, it fast. No. no that's I'm, interesting. I'm enjoying yeah. the comfort. Yeah. I'm enjoying the leisurely drive of it. It's got a feel good factor about it, hasn't yeah. it? Because it's, yeah. it's cosseted new. It's, yeah. It's and and we we've got the roof off. Yeah. But the hair's not blowing no, anywhere. No, no. So, you know, it, it goes above doesn't, you. It doesn't mess your hair do up. No. A lot of them do. The, everything you can see uh, on the inside of it is beautifully done. Yeah. So where do they make the Bentley? Well, the Bentley's still made in crew. Is it <clears> right? The Bentley's okay. still made in crew uh, in the same factory that they were made in for, for 70 years. Yeah. Um, but Rolls Royce got hived off to BMW. Right. And they're, they're now, you know, nothing to do with the original cars, you know. Um, whereas the Bentley's still something to do with the original because it's still right. it's still made in the original factory. Yeah. But it's like everything, they've got to make it appeal to a broader section of people. People with lots of money want very flash things now, yeah. generally, don't yeah. they? Um, it's all about show now, isn't it? It is, yeah. Than... About, it's not about being discreet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not the, the flashiest thing out there. No. But it's it's not far away. <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah, I mean it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because you can't you, you can't, can't actually fault, fault it. it. Can you? No, <laughs> There's nothing no. To, you know, why? There how can you not fault. like this? No, you know? Exactly. I'm glad that I've had the chance to drive one. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And uh, but I'm also much more excited about having driven the Jack. That sort of reconnected you with your past a little bit. Yeah, more, I think it? so. I say to myself, I'm not interested in cars, and then when I try it, I go, oh, I see the appeal. Yeah. I think everybody's a little bit interested, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. You know, some of us are just obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a bit dark for a game of golf, but to be honest, I'm, I'm not really that keen. It's not, it's not my sport. I just like going for the, not the 18th hole, but the 19th. Just cut out of the middle, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cut the sport um, out and go straight for the... Straight for the drink. Straight for the drink. And yeah. I think uh, it's got to be in this car. It's got to be a pink gin. Absolutely. Absolutely.